to Unit 2, Lesson 3, where we're going to be learning how to work with graphs, verbal descriptions, tables, and equations. So in this section, you're either going to be given a graph, table, verbal description, or equation that you need to use to go and find the other ways of representing a relationship. In this problem, we are given a graph first, and we're going to use that graph to then get a table. So if we look at this graph, we see that there is a relationship between the amount of overtime somebody works and the amount of money that they make in total. If they work zero hours of overtime, they are making what looks to be $60. If they are working one hour of overtime, they are making $90. The X of one goes with the Y of 90. Two hours, 120. Three hours, 150 total dollars of pay. We are going to take these ordered pairs and move them to the table. So zero hours goes with $60. One hour goes with $90. Two hours goes with $120. And three hours goes with $150. We weren't given any other data points, so we're just going to leave it at that. Now, a verbal description that could explain the points on the graph. They want us to mention how it starts and how it changes. This is really important. Starting value is always what's going to be happening at x equals 0. So here, also known as the y-intercept, and also shown here in our table, when x is 0, y is 60. So it looks like when you work zero hours of overtime, you still make $60. The change is how much we're going up or down over a consistent amount of time. So every time these x's are going up by one, up by one, how are our y's changing? Well, they're going up by 30, up by 30. So it looks like you get an extra $30 for every one hour of overtime work. And that's what we're going to write in our verbal description. So I said you start off by making $60 and then get an additional $30 for every hour of overtime. Next, we're being asked to write an equation that models the graph points. Since lines have what we call a consistent rate of change, there's only two things you need to know about a line where it starts, and how it changes. If you know those two pieces of information, you can plug it into this form, y equals start plus change x. Later in this course, we'll come to call this slope-intercept form, written y equals mx plus b, which you might remember from middle school. But for now, we're going to keep it in this form of y equals start plus change x. Using this form and the information from the previous problem that we started making $60, and then changed by getting an additional, a positive $30 for every hour, we can fill in the form of a line. y equals the starting amount 60 plus the changing amount 30 x. And we will use this as our equation. Now let's move on to a problem that gives you a verbal description that you need to turn into an equation in order to solve the problem. In other words, a word problem. A home security system costs $80 plus $28 per month. So $80 is the starting amount that you're going to pay no matter what, and $28 is the changing amount. Every extra month that you use this system, you have to pay $28 more. So using our start plus change x model, we're going to write y equals the starting amount 80 plus the changing amount 28x. That's our equation to represent this situation. Now, Karen pays $2,600, and we're asked how many months will she be covered for. X in this problem is going to represent the number of months, since we're saying 28 a month. So the change happening in this problem is how many months there are. So X is going to represent months, and Y is representing the total amount of money. So if we're told that Karen pays $2,600 up front, we're being told 
that that's a y value. And if we want to know how many months it will take, we're looking for an x. So we're going to use this equation to solve the situation. $2,600 goes in for y equals 80 plus 28, and we don't know how many months, so we just write x. Now this is a problem, like in the last chapter, that we just have to solve using AMAP. We'll subtract 80 getting 2520 and then the 28x drops down and we'll divide both sides by 28. This gives us x equals 90. So she'll be covered for 90 months. Alright, so let's look at a problem that puts everything together. A moving company charges a $100 flat fee and an additional $50 per hour. So the $100 flat fee means no matter what happens, you're paying 100 bucks. So even if they work for zero hours, you still have to pay them $100. Now, if they work one hour, they get an additional $50. So 150 If they work two hours, they get another 50 so 200 Another hour, three hours, 250 And another hour, four hours, 300. We're just making it go up by 50 every time. Now for the graph, we're going to scale the graph to go by 50s. And we're going to copy these points over to the graph. So 0, 100 would be right here. Then 1, 150, 2, 200, 3, 250, and 4, 300. And if we're kind of following that pattern, we could fill the table if we really wanted to. Now, as far as writing an equation goes, we want y equals start plus change x, where our starting value is this 100, since that goes with 0, or you could look at the graph with what goes with 0. So that starting value is 100, plus that changing value, well, it's going up by 50, up by 50, 50 additional dollars per hour, so there's several ways we could find that change, being 50. This gives us the equation y equals 100 plus 50x. Now, if we look at our table, it tells us that the hours is x and the dollars is y. We could label our graph the same way. And for this question, they ask us in part D, how much would it cost for 8 hours? 8 would be an x value since hours is x. So they're telling us what x is, and we can plug that into the equation above. So I'm going to take this equation and replace x with 8. And then by simplifying, I get y equals 100 plus 400, giving us an answer of y equals 500. And that is money, so we'll say $500. Next, they ask us how many hours is an unknown would result in a charge of $450. Well, money is y, so this is telling us that y equals 450. So again, we'll take our equation from part C, and this time we'll replace y with 450. Now we're set up to solve a two-step equation. I'll subtract 100, and then divide by 50, to get an answer of x equals 7. Well, since x is hours, this answer is 7 hours. Notice by looking at the graph that we could have actually used the graph to answer part E as well. $450 was on the graph. If we look at the ordered pair that goes with it, this point, the x value would be 7. So $450 goes with 7 hours, just like we answered in E using the equation. While this video focused mostly on solving equations that came from verbal descriptions, I hope you realize, as we pointed out at the end of the video, that you can use graphs and tables as well as equations to solve real-world situations. The reverse is also true. You can start with an expression or an equation and add a verbal description to add context. If you came away with anything else, write that down now. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next lesson.